hello guys you are all welcome to my channel are you guys doing i hope you are all doing well good morning good afternoon good evening depends where you are hearing my voice from if today is your first time of coming across this channel please support again okay? hit the subscribe button below there you will see a better job better best time for notification but anytime i post a new video you will be notified my people you get this good news we are bring up for now all of them know this country what they call a baba dose you don't say we be say they get their independent but they don't get their freedom but two weeks ago, they can't get their own freedom. They can't get their own republic. They first choose their president. They first choose their governor. Ever since they get their independent, now the United Kingdom, they control them. Now they do everything for them. Now they are not free. They are not free to become a country of their home. These are our celebrities, what they call Ariana. Now they for come. This matter, it caused big celebration for them. They jubilate, eh? they dance. Those of you who never see this video, we be say all of the come they happy. I will just draw the video for you. One of the watcher. But before then, may I read this post for now? He said, Barbados celebrate becoming the world new US republic. In a celebration, they all celebrated with songs and dance. Queen Elizabeth was removed as the head of the state and replaced by a president sandra luson this one a brief celebration for them they are all so happy they are all rejoicing to see say best not they control them again and the funniest thing they call girl woman will come be their president for now those of you that have not watched this celebration i will draw the post here so that you guys can watch it and celebrate with them it's not easy to become a free country to have choice to have right to choose whatever you want to do for your country is a thing of joy please after finish watching do not forget to share this video give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel god bless you as you do so here is the video and you're watching see you in my next video bye bye the crowds were in a jubilant mood the evening began with young Barbadians playing for their country. The Youth Steel Orchestra, bringing in a new era in this island's history. They'll now grow up in a country where they can aspire to be president. And then on to the official proceedings. The royal standard lowered for the last time, replaced by the presidential standard. The final cutting of ties to the country's colonial past as it declares itself a republic. I, Sandra Prunella Mason, do swear that I will well and truly serve Barbados in the office of president, so help me God. Dame Sandra Mason has just been sworn in as president of Barbados, the first ever. It's a huge moment for the country. And as it happened, huge cheers went up from across the riverbank. The president, joined by Barbadian royalty, former cricketer Garfield Sobers, and newly appointed national hero Rihanna for a 21-gun salute. Speaking after his mother, the Queen, was removed as head of state, Prince Charles focused on the enduring friendship between Barbados and the UK, but he also touched on the painful history. From the darkest days of our past and the appalling atrocity of slavery, which forever stains our history, the people of this island forged their path with extraordinary fortitude. In her first speech as president, Dame Sandra Mason looked to the future. We are Barbadians. We, the people, must give Republic Barbados its spirit and its substance. We must shape its future. We are each other's and our nation's keepers. But not everyone at Oyston's Fish Fry is convinced this is the right move. Rice and peas, corn on a cob. Although it has broad support, some worry that with a tourism-dependent economy hit hard by COVID, now is not the time. The people were notified, weren't asked how we feel about it, anything. 
I, I'm not 100% about it, I'll be honest with you. Okay. It looks more like a, like, the government's just taking over. You think that you have had enough information from the government about this? I don't think so. No? I need to think about it. But for young Barbadians like Alex and Renell, this moment is long overdue. It's now a situation where we're no longer little England. We're equals. We're looking at each other as equals. We are, we are our own people. You're your own country, you're your own people. And we can have those same diplomatic relations, those same friendships, those same bonds. It's not a fight. <laughs> it's, it's really not a fight. Oh, that's just cricket. <laughs> oh. And then it's a fight. Oh. <laughs> Debate is already underway about what should be in the new constitution. One area that's proving controversial for some of the older generation is the inclusion of LGBTQ plus rights. It's going to happen regardless, and I guess sad to say it this way, they'll be dry kicking and screaming. I mean, the human rights activists, myself included, are going to ensure that it doesn't make sense you having this opportunity to change the constitution in such a way and then still discriminate against certain people. While driving around the island, there are signs of new influences here. China invested heavily in development. But people dispute the idea that this means the country once called Little England is turning into Little China. Instead, the message on display from the world's newest republic is that Barbados will now chart its own course.